Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino, and I want to tell you about another new study that came out in 2009 that I think is uh, quite fascinating. It's another study showing that vitamin D supplementation can help reverse osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. But here's, here's what the study was called. The study was called Minimum Required Vitamin D Level for Optimal Increase in Bone Mineral Density with Alendronate Treatment in Osteoporotic Women. What does that mean? It means that there's a drug called Alendronate. You might know it as Fosamax because it's used to treat osteoporosis. And what they're showing in the research is you know, how much vitamin D do you have to have in your bloodstream to make that drug work to its maximum levels. So the, the study was published in a, in a journal called Calcified Tissue International. It came out in October of 2009. The thing is that we, we, most people already know that low vitamin D levels uh, put you at risk for osteoporosis. Uh, vitamin D is required to increase calcium absorption to get it from the intestinal tract into the bloodstream. And then calcium goes into your bones to mineralize the bones to keep them hard and firm so they don't fracture easily. And the vitamin D, the way that it does that is by increasing the body's production of a certain carrier protein. It really drags the calcium across from the gut into the blood. So if your vitamin D levels are low, you don't make enough of the, the protein carrier to bring the calcium across. You don't absorb calci calcium nearly as well. So optimal levels of vitamin D in the bloodstream that you want to shoot for, and you should, have, you should have this test done, is to make sure that your blood level is above 85 nanomoles per liter. When it's above 85 nanomoles per liter, the research suggests it decreases your risk of osteoporosis, cancer in general, and especially breast, prostate, and colon cancer, we think. There's an association with a decreased risk for multiple sclerosis, and it also supports uh, immune system function quite significantly. So we're seeing all kinds of benefits by having adequate vitamin D, as you know. There was a study just uh, in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition just not long ago that showed that people, women that had osteoporosis who were postmenopausal, if they supplemented them with 1,400 IUs a day of vitamin D, and 1,500 milligrams of calcium, they were able to increase bone density just doing that, which is remarkable. We didn't think postmenopausal women could increase their bone density without medications, but supplementation alone has been shown to do it. But in the current study that I'm talking about now, they took 52 uh, postmenopausal women who already had osteoporosis. They put them on the drug Fosamax, or the generic, which is Alendronate, and, uh, which is a standard medical treatment. What the researchers discovered is that women who had low blood levels of vitamin D, under 63 nanomoles per liter, didn't respond very well to the drug treatment. They didn't really gain bone density. They were still having difficulty maintaining bone density. The drug wasn't working as well. In other words, the Fosamax treatment was only able to reverse bone loss if women already had adequate vitamin D in their bloodstream to begin with. When they had adequate amount of vitamin D above that 63 nanomole threshold, then with the alendronate uh, drug, they were able to gain up to close to 5% of bone density increase just in the first six months of the study. That's a, that's a huge increase in bone density in just six months. So this is a classic case where you see that certain supplements are, can be used to actually increase the efficacy of certain drugs. So drugs and supplements sometimes work together like hand and glove, and there's many examples of that. And over the, a period of time in these little uh, videos, hopefully I can introduce you to some other combinations. But I want to tell you this. I just recently returned from a a conference. It was an integrative cancer therapies conference where medical doctors gathered together to share new information about effective cancer treatments. And what we're seeing is that more and more medical doctors are treating cancer using specific supplements to enhance the killing effects of chemotherapy, of radiation, and to boost the patient's immune system because if the immune system is weak, you have almost no chance. So they're saying there are certain supplements that actually upregulate immune system function that we see are important, we're combining it with our standard medical treatments and seeing better results. So when I'm seeing that firsthand now by medical doctors who are starting to integrate these things, I'm saying that there's some really good hope we're going to see these two worlds come together at some point very soon. Now in regards to osteoporosis, you know, whether or not a person is taking Fosamax or another type of biphosphonate drug like Fosamax to treat osteoporosis, supplementation with an adequate amount of calcium vitamin D is still very important. So you should have your blood vitamin D levels checked. 
I want it to be above 85 nanomoles per liter to give the best overall health benefits. And you want to make sure you're getting 1500 milligrams a day of calcium from food and supplementation. The way that I've tried to make that accessible for people is in the Adiva multiple vitamin with our Adiva bone support supplement. If you take those two as I do every day, you already get 1100 milligrams of the calcium you need. Most people get another 500 milligrams a day at least from their diet. It puts them in the ideal range. In those two supplements, there's 1200 IUs of vitamin D. There's a little bit more from food, sunlight, eating fish. Most people will get the additional that they need. Magnesium 500 milligrams and then I also included the 60 milligrams of the Icarin flavonoid that comes from the herb called Epimedium because we saw recently that that flavonoid by itself a natural agent could increase bone mineral density in the hip and in the low back bones of the spine in women who were postmenopausal who were already losing bone density so that natural agent it tremendously augments the effects of calcium vitamin D magnesium and any drug you might be taking for uh, osteoporosis. I also included silica and boron and other bone support nutrients that play a complementary role. So the Adiva multivitamin and bone support formula, you might want to look at them. They're a practical two-step method to make sure that you help to guard against osteoporosis or can use those in conjunction with certain medications to increase their efficacy. It's an important subject because one in four women in North America already has osteoporosis by the time they're 50 years old or older and one in eight men develops osteoporosis after the age of 50 now. And more women die in Canada, more women die each year from the complications of osteoporotic fractures of the hip than from the combined mortality rate of breast and ovarian cancer. And let me tell you, what, let me say that again. More women die each year in Canada from the consequences of a hip fracture due to osteoporosis than the combined death rate from breast and ovarian cancer. The thing is that osteoporosis is highly, highly preventable. If you already have it, then understand that combining prescription drugs with proper diet, supplementation, and exercise, this is the proven method to reverse osteoporosis to gain some calcium back into your bones. Just taking the drugs by themselves without the lifestyle plan, I think, is actually misleading and not giving people the very best benefit of what we know from the research today. So if you haven't done it already, please, take my natural health test assessment. You're going to see the little icon next to this video. If you haven't done the assessment, click on the icon. It'll tell you if you're a candidate for bone mineral density testing. And it'll give you some of the additional strategies uh, to reduce your risk of osteoporosis. If you don't have it already, if you already do have it, it'll give you a nice comprehensive lifestyle program. So that osteoporosis story continues to build. We see lifestyle supplementation diet and even the medications available are all part of the story. So you should pay close attention to this one. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.